I'm just sharing what I'm reading. One thing we, one has to do is separate God's love and relationship from stewardship and adult responsibility. It's easy to get in the, into the hamster wheel of saved by grace but kept by works. But God's grace is unconditional through the sanctification process. God didn't love us because we were perfect. He loved us because he wanted to. God's grace is unmerited favor. We don't earn it by its works and we don't earn it by being good. Growth in the Christian life is a paradox. We pray for God to remove our shortcomings yet. We take care of our responsibilities and stewardship each day. Like in gardening, we do what we know to do. Plant seeds, water, weed the rows, and God gives the growth. We don't grow to be good or something that can be empty. We grow because God loved us first, and we grow to be more like Him. We receive lasting comfort by putting our trust in God. Sometimes God gives us immediate deliverance through a painful situation. Or often he walks with us as we struggle with problems. Our struggles might be the result of past mistakes. They might be the result of people's failures. God allows us to experience such trying circumstances to build character in us and strengthen our faith. When we place our trust in Jesus, we receive his peace in this life and the promise of a home within an eternity. Love is a lifestyle in which all our thoughts and actions are guided by concern for others and their needs. Most of us need growth and recovery because we've lived for our own gratification. We start to escape the inner pain through the fleeting pleasures of addictive activities or substances. We became blind to the needs of the people around us. That lifestyle left our past littered with hurt people and broken relationships. A life governed by selfless love is the only path to building our broken past. Knowing that God loves us no matter what, our past is the place to start recovery. But the Holy Spirit reduces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There's no law against these things. Those who belong to Christ have nailed their passions and desires of their sinful nature to the cross and crucified them there. These are qualities produced by the Holy Spirit's work in a life submitted to God. Just as a tree bears fruit by the work of God's unseen hand in nature, we experience these fruits of the Spirit by the means of God's power alone. Our part is to entrust our life to Him. When the Holy Spirit begins to bear these fruits in our lives, our dependency loses its power. With joy and peace, we overcome the pain of our past. With love, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, and gentleness, we restore our relationships and make amends. With patience, we preserve through the difficult times. With self-control, we stand against our tendency to relapse. Through Christ and God's Spirit, we grow, and He supplies what's needed for successful recovery. And God gives us His grace abundantly. Yet we might need to set up structure in our lives to deal with an addiction. Like cancer needs much more strenuous treatment than the common cold. Whether it be information or other things, we have to set up the structure. Or it can just be wishful thinking on our part.